Hi, welcome to the self-learning series for Control-M workload automation products. My name is Ted Levitt and I'm a technical support analyst for Control-M. This is a series of self-learning videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day -day tasks with Control-M. I'm going to briefly review the Control-M server CTM PSM utility and what it has to offer. I believe you'll find it quite handy if you're not already using it. The CTM PSM or production support menu is a control M server utility which offers a command line interface to many functions which are present in the enterprise manager GUI. Of course, since we're running this on the control M server, we'll only be seeing the active environment on this server. There are two different ways to use CTM PSM. You can use the menu driven interface or you can use the straight command line utility with switches. Let's look at the menu to start. Here we have many options available to us in this screen. Similar to the EM, we have the ability to present a list of jobs in the AJF on this server. We can list the job with filters of OK or not OK, and filter by states such as submitted or executing, wait, and similar options. These are very similar to the options you have in the EM viewpoints and dynamic filters, but again, only apply to the list of jobs on this Control-M server. In the list view, we also have the ability to perform actions on the jobs that show up in the list. We can do things like hold a job, free it, delete it, rerun. The CTM PSM allows you to perform these actions on a global basis, so you can say, hold all jobs at the same time by issuing a single command. You can also do other things similar to the M, like viewing sysout or log, or performing a Y. You can pick the job and view the job details. Here's the zoom screen. You can see here the various details of the job. You can edit these properties by entering the corresponding number. Most everything in the job definition can be updated through CTM PSM. The interactive menu also gives you an interface to several other M server utilities, including those which can list and update conditions and resources. It also provides an interface to order and force a job or table and do things like a list of ordered tables and smart tables. The CTM PSM doesn't have to be run with the interactive menu. It can also be run in batch with command line arguments. Here you can see the command line usage syntax by issuing the CTM PSM command with the dash help option or really any other unused argument. The functionality of the command line is nearly identical to that in the interactive menu. You can use the command to generate output to list tables and calendars. You can perform actions on jobs like hold, free, rerun, and other things. You can even update jobs or tables and groups from the command line. Remember, CTM PSM, like most of the other supported utilities, are documented in the Control-M server utility guide. You can also see the printed command line syntax there, as well as the descriptions of the various system options.